Hello there guys, Andy here, Kent Survival. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm on the banks of an island on the lake of Stora Lee in the Swedish Lake District and I'd like to show you what I packed to bring here for a five day canoe trip. So let's get on with it and I'll show you what I've got. Right, so it's quite a tricky one to do this with a full layout. Um, maybe I could have done it in sections, but uh, I thought I'd just show you exactly what I've got. This is everything plus what I'm wearing right now. Down the front here, we have my sleep system. Start off with my free FUL gear, three by three tarp. In here I've got six lightweight pegs and a couple of hanks of paracord as well. One of them with prussic knots on um, and that's my ridge line plus another one to use for other things that I may need to use it for. Next up we've got my OEX Evolution Fathom Evo 300 sleeping bag. So this is brand new to me before this trip. I hadn't actually used it beforehand, so a bit of trust in that. Um, I'm undecided, but I've not been cold so far, except for I had a fever the other day, but you'll see the whole video to see that. Um, it's a plus one bag and I believe we've got down to minus three, maybe a little lower on another night. Um, and that plus some of the extras here I'm about to show you um, have kept me warm enough. This is a uh, stuff sack pillow. It's um, felted on the, uh, or fleeced on the inside. Um, so you can turn it inside out, keep your clothes in it, uh, turn it out again, and um, you've got a nice pillow to stuff in. Um, I've usually been putting the clothes on that are in here uh, to wear to bed and putting my jacket inside it to, to make it a pillow. Um, in there I've got a pair of socks, some thermals, um, and I usually have my fleece in there as well. Next to that I've got a poly cotton sleeping bag liner. It's just a thin one, but uh, it makes a little bit of difference. Next to that is my Thermarest. That's my um, Neo Air x Lite. And in the stuff sack next to that, that's my Alp Kit Hunker Bivy bag. Um, so that goes around everything. That's just because I'm just under a tarp a lot of the time. Uh, so if any rain or anything does get in, that's just an extra layer there to protect. Next to that is a very lightweight ground sheet. Uh, I've got better ground sheets, but this one's just so light. And because we was flying here, uh, I was trying to keep the weight down. Over here, I have a couple of these Slognak pouches. Uh, the first one here is like a electronics possibles pouch. There's not been too much in it for this trip, um, but there is a couple of bits in there. I've got my Olight headlamp. There's the H1R Nova, which I've not had to charge yet. I've got uh, this little Polymath products light. It's a handy little thing. Um, glows. It's got glow in the dark bit, it's a light, uh, it's magnetised, it's got velcro on it, it's got this kind of carabiner and this uh, velcro loop. So that goes up pretty much anywhere uh, inside the Dano huts, inside a shelter. Just a handy little light and a good backup. I've got uh, my Olight charging cable and uh, a spare micro USB. Earplugs which are always in here, just under here. I've got a picture of a loved one, I've got a little sewing kit and I've got a patching kit for my Thermarest as well, so I don't really want to be without that. And the second Slognak pouch is um, a hygiene and kind of medical kind of kit. It is mainly hygiene for this uh, trip though. Some antibacterial gel, brought some sun cream, not needed it. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Got some afterbite in case it gets stung. A spare lighter. Uh, this is just an inhaler, nasal stick. Um, I do suffer from hay fever. I've not started this year, it was just in case. Got a small trowel, and these were just in here anyway, just a couple of small packs of tissues. So here we have a basic sit pad that's for using around camp and also for using in the canoe to kneel on. Next to that we have an EDC hammock. This is by UK Hammocks. Um, very lightweight, 
pack's absolutely tiny. Uh, I've not really needed it yet, but um, if I did, it's going to come in handy. Above there, we've got my Crag Hopper jacket that I wore here um, in the clothes I'm wearing. And in the pockets, I just had woolly hat and some glove liners as well. Uh, these I tend to wear to bed because I often have my arms outside of the sleeping bag. Next to that, got my gold power boots. These are neoprene booties, uh, waterproof for canoeing. And I have some seal skin waterproof socks which come up a bit higher so if these do get water in them, I can still stay dry. This little boot bag in the middle I've used for clothing. I've got an extra pair of lightweight trousers, another shirt, uh, and some spare underwear as well. Here I have a pair of softy trousers, military softy trousers, uh, just to wear to bed if I need that extra layer. Um, just before we came, the forecast really did drop here, uh, so I thought it's best to, to bring an extra layer. I do have a down jacket as well, which I believe is in there at the moment because I can't currently find the um, stuff sack for it. Above there I have a possibles pouch. Uh, that's just got a few bits and bobs that don't really fit into anything else and I don't want the loose in the packing. Here is that possibles pouch. It's in a dry sack. And I'll lay out what's inside it here. It's got a first aid kit. It's quite basic. It's got burn gel, uh, plasters, bandage, that sort of thing in there. Got a microfiber trekking towel. So that's good for drying stuff, for drying your washing, for washing and drying yourself, for drying off your top before you pack it away. Handy for loads of things. I've got my travel soap in here, so that's multi-use. I thought I'd bring along my carving kit. So two Mora knives, spoon knife and a normal carving knife. Ferro rod. Got a pack of cards. These ones are waterproof. And I have this recommended by Des from Des Catties. Uh, it's Nordic Summer and uh, that's a, a bug repellent that's meant to be very good over here. So I bought some of that. Not needed it to be honest. Um, not needed the sun cream or the bug repellent. Uh, I think we've caught it just at the right time really. Back over this side I've got my Holfeter's Forest Axe. Uh, I had plenty of weight allowance left because my pack isn't the biggest at 70 litres. Uh, so this not being that big slid down the back of the pack so I thought I'd bring it along. I've also got my Silky Big Boy saw which has come in handy. I've got my Condor Bushlaw knife. I got myself a brand new Nalgene bottle for the trip. Uh, pretty handy with the wide mouth because I can just scoop straight into the lake and drink straight from the lake. Brought along two rolls of toilet paper. Uh, took out the uh, middle cardboard just so they pack better. And uh, there's one pack of wet wipes there as well which are multi-use. Back here we've got the cook set. Um, at the top here I've got a 12 centimetre billy can. Inside that got my GSI cup, a handkerchief, so I can use that to filter the water, which I've not needed to, to be honest, and various other things. Just inside the cup is my brew kit, sugar, powdered milk, tea. And that stops it rattling around in there as well. And the other half of the cook set here, got a spatula. I brought, thinking of weight saving, just my left leather glove, thinking I could hold a pot while stirring with my right hand. Got my Total Fishing non-stick frying pan. A cheap, I think from Decathlon, one pound plastic plate, very lightweight and nests inside here. My knife fork spoon set, don't leave home without that. My open all camp kitchen knife. There's a couple of hot hands in here, just in case, and they fit in. 
Got my EDC bush box for lunches. And I've got some Tinder card as well. On top of the uh, 70 litre dry bag here, I've got the book that kind of inspired this uh, trip, which is Paddles and Polar Bread by Dave Bliss. So I thought I'd give that a read on the go because I haven't finished it yet. I've got a microfiber fleece. Uh, that usually is on me or in the stuff sack pillow. So I've got plenty of layers. Layering up has been the key to this trip. And at the end here, this is just a, a normal bag. It's not a dryer bag, but inside it I have got some uh, dry bags. And that's all my camera and drone gear. So I'll give you a quick look at that as well. I guess this one's a bit tricky to show, but all of this is in two dry bags. And that's in that backpack that was in my hand luggage. Uh, main reason for that is all of this stuff requires batteries. At the end here we have my action camera, and that's on one of these clamp mounts, which is fully adjustable. So that's great for just clamping onto the side of the canoe and getting different shots that I need. Got the waterproof case on it at the top here, and I've just tied some paracord to it. Got this tip from Simon, uh, just to tie to the canoe, so if it does drop off, it's not completely lost. Here I have lenses for my camera. This is an adapter, this is uh, just a telephoto lens. This is my filming light. This is a bungee cord and that's for wrapping around the tripod for the camera. So when I'm using it inside of the canoe, it's pretty secure. I've got this big TNTOR power bank. It's solar, which isn't going to do much in the weather we've had, to be honest. Um, but it's done a fantastic job of um, charging camera batteries and all the rest of it. In here and here are the um, DJI Mavic drone and the remote control. My phone will be in this pack whilst canoeing. And I've been keeping just a map of the lake inside there as well. In addition to that, there's the camera and microphone, which I'm obviously using right now, and the tripod as well, uh, plus additional batteries for all of this. Just for an idea of the additional batteries, they're all separated into little bags in here. I'm not gonna get them out now, but there's a few of them. <laughs> I hope some of you have found that interesting, seeing what I've packed for this five day trip canoeing. Um, quite a difficult one to pack for because you're flying, you're traveling, uh, there's lots of considerations, flammables, um, batteries, things like that. Uh, so there's a lot of different considerations, plus when you're here, canoeing and everything as well, so everything's got to be waterproof. Uh, lots of things to think about. So maybe you found it helpful if you're going on a similar trip or something, or just in general. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm going to now have to pack away this kit bomb <laughs> and then I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the morning looking over this lake. Hopefully the sun will come out. So I'll see you for the next video, which is going to be this trip. See you all soon. Stay safe.